channel Kanu sir and I am your teacher Pawn Kanu and I am back again with the same topic related the plane surfaces and the long question related menstruation and here in the and here I have got the top question related parallelogram previously I did a long question from triangle topic and now the next topic is parallelogram and the long question of parallelogram is as follows here let us see the question the area of a parallelogram step length is 48 meter square so there is a lane looks like a parallelogram and its area is 48 meter square and the length of two adjacent sides are 6 and 8 the two adjacent sides are 6 meter and 8 meter respectively and because it is a parallelogram then the opposite sides are also equal so it is also 6 meter and it is also 8 meter and they are parallel to each other as well opposite sides are parallel as well and opposite sides are equal also but what is asked here find the diagonal is asked so we need to find the length of the diagonal let us give the name of the sides a b c d in a clockwise direction or you can say that is anti-clockwise and first we have to write the given terms here area of palm the short form of parallelogram you can write palm that is a is equals to 48 meter square and the length length ab that is 6 meter bc that is 8 meter and we need the diagonal so we can denote it as a bd is equals to a we can say let x and we can write here we know that we can write here we know that what we know then here the area of a parallelogram the area of a parallelogram is two times the area of a triangle lies in it so there are two triangles you can see triangle ABD and triangle BCD and the area of the total of these two triangles will be equal to the area of a parallelogram and there is one more theorem you must know that the diagonal exactly bisect or divides the parallelogram into two equal halves that is why if you are able to find the area of a triangle of one half of a triangle or one half of a parallelogram then automatically that will be equal to the another half of a parallelogram the next triangle and also you can see the dimensions the 6 meter and 8 meter are on the one side of a triangle and they are also on the another side of a triangle and just the diagonal is similar or common to the same triangles that is required to be found here as for the question and one more problem in the area of a triangle uh, in the area of a parallelogram that we have area of a parallelogram is base into height and we are not given any height here neither a dotted line here neither a dotted line in the middle it means there is no height given to us in this parallelogram that is why to find the area of a triangle or a parallelogram we have to use this short formula that is yes yes minus a yes minus b yes minus c as i have previously told you in the other videos previous videos that if the dimensions are different if it is a scalar triangle we must be using this formula that will be easy to find so we know that area of a parallelogram is two times area of a triangle let us take triangle any triangle that is b c d or that is 48 and 2 and area of a triangle BCD let us divide 48 divided by 2 triangle BCD and hence area of triangle BCD is equal to 24 meter square now we got something hint some hint to find the value of the di diagonal here again we need to find the semi perimeter the yes denotes the semi perimeter here and here we can denote this as x then the semi perimeter is x plus 8 plus 6 divided by 2 why we need to find this first because we have got the area of a triangle with us we have this formula to use we know the value of a value of b 
Just we don't know the value of C that is X denoted here in the question. So we'll write here X plus 14 divided by 2 and then area of a triangle is equals to yes, yes minus A, yes minus B, yes minus C. Our area of a triangle is here 24 root. Yes, value of S is X plus 14 by 2. We we'll again write X plus 14 by 2 minus A. You can take 8. We we'll again write X plus 14 by 2 minus B that is 6. And we have got no place there. We can erase this figure now. We don't need it anymore. Can extend and the right and we write now x plus 14 by 2 dip minus the diagonal that is c and it is called x here or 24 is equals to root x plus 14 by 2 and taking lcm 2 x plus 14 minus 16 taking lcm x plus 14 minus 12 Taking LCM, x plus 14 minus 2x. Or 24 is equal to x plus 14 by 2. Here, x minus 14 minus 16 is minus 2 by 2. x 14 minus 12 will be plus 2 by 2 and here 14 x minus 2x will write minus x by 2 so almost we are making these two look alike and these two look alike in a formula or 24 is equals to x plus 14 x 14 minus x you can change 14 plus x then we will be writing 14 square minus x square divided by 2 into 2, 2 square is 4. Similarly, x minus 2, x plus 2 will be like x square minus 2 square. And 2 times 2 is 4. So we are multiplying the common terms, almost look like a common term. After that, after this, this area also. Or, now everything is here, we need to solve. That is 24. Squaring on both sides, we can write. We can write here squaring on both sides. Then we will get 24 square and root. 14 square, you can check. Square of 14. 1 square is 1, 4 square is 16, 1, carry over, 4 1 is 4 to the 8 plus 1, 9, 1, 96, minus x square by 4, and x square minus 4 by 4, as a whole square, or square of 24, 2 square is 4, 4 square is 16, carry over 1, 2 for the 8, 2 the 16 and 1 17, 7 and 1 carry over 576, cancelling the root, write here 196 minus x square, x square minus 4, 4 times 4 is 16. This number will be multiplying here. 576 into 16, 196 into x square, 196 x square, minus into plus, minus, 196 into 4, 4, 6, 24, 2, 4, 36, 2, 38, 3, 4, 1 is 4 and 3, 7, and minus into plus, minus x power 4, minus into minus, plus 4 x square, or Multiplying here 576 into 16. 6 6 36 3. 
Six seven the forty two three forty five four six five the thirty four and six seven five six one two one nine nine two one six equals to one hundred ninety six x square minus seven hundred eighty four minus x power four plus Four x square or nine two one six plus seven hundred eighty four because it is a just a constant number. One hundred ninety six x square plus four will get two hundred x square and minus x power four. Taking all terms to the left hand side, plus x power four minus two hundred x square and plus 9216 plus 784 6 plus 4 ten zero 1 8 nine ten zero 1 seven eight nine ten zero 1 and nine and one ten equals to zero. Now doing midterm break, you can find 200 and there is ten thousand. So ten thousand, you have to imagine the number by multiplying, we can get ten thousand and by adding, we will get two hundred. So hundred plus hundred. Uh, 100 plus 100, 200, 100 times 100 is 10,000. So x power 4 minus 100 plus 100 x square plus 10,000 equals to 0. Now let us go to the next part here. Or x square power 4 minus 100x square minus 100x square plus 10,000 equals 0 and in this type of cases if you cannot imagine a number that by what number we can multiply and add to get the similar numbers then you can directly go to the quadratic equation in the previous video I have done that process also or x square common x square minus 100 minus 100 common x square minus 100 equals to 0 or x square minus 100 and again x square minus 100 that is equal to 0 or, or both of them looks alike same x square minus 100 whole square equals to 0 and finally you will just get x square minus 100 equals to 0 because square can be removed from a 0 square or x square is equals to 100 or taking value of x removing square will get here root 100 finally value of x will get plus minus 10 and here we are discussing about the length so the length will never be negative therefore the length of diagonal is plus 10 meter. So this way we are solving the long questions related parallelogram, parallelogram also and in a parallelogram finally we have to use the formula of triangle here. So there are some other many questions that needed to be solved here on the board. For that you have to put your questions, your confusions and I will be also finding and sourcing some important questions for you student that is very needed and that can make your concept clear related these formulas also. So don't forget to share this video among your friends. Don't forget to like this video if you really find it uh, educative, if you really find it interesting and important and don't forget to subscribe the channel as well. So till then keep practicing, keep learning. Bye.